Video cards. Most people use these to play games, but I'm boring. So today let's see if we can repurpose the video RAM in this video card as a storage device using a really interesting project that hasn't been updated in like five years. So stay tuned. And if you enjoy using computer equipment as incorrectly as possible, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. Hard drives. They're hard, they drive, where to, nobody knows. But 11 years ago, these things were still kind of slow. Back then, people would often create RAM disks to have fast access to the files they were working on. But that used up your system RAM. You could buy devices like this RAM disk card that uses actual sticks of RAM to create a super fast RAM disk. But this was enormously expensive. Video on this thing coming soon. But a fellow called Overv on GitHub realized that there was already super fast unused memory in his system that was perfect for a super fast RAM disk. His video card's VRAM. It's actually kind of genius. The only time your video card needs all that VRAM is when you're playing video games. When you're just working on your computer, this VRAM is just sitting there. So Overv used the Fuse library to create a RAM disk out of the unused video RAM in a discrete graphics card. He says it's not intended for serious use, but how well does it actually work? Well, today we're gonna do a fresh install of Linux, chuck in this nice beefy video card, and try to build VRAM FS and see for ourselves. Right after this quick word about today's sponsor, delete me. Today's internet is a weird place. Everything you do and say online is analyzed, cataloged, chopped up, and sold on the open market of data brokers. And it's not just shady advertisers buying this data. Your private info can wind up in the hands of scammers, fraudsters, phishing schemes, and worse. Oh look, another political text. This is exactly the kind of thing that Delete Me can help to address. I've been using Delete Me for well over a year now, and they help me control my personal information in ways I was never able to accomplish manually. They constantly scour the internet for my info and report back to me exactly which data brokers and websites have it. And then, well, they delete me and give me constant reporting about it. There's even a privacy advisor that I can reach out to at any time. Just look at my listings removed over time. A big spike at the beginning where they removed the huge amount of data on me that was just floating out there. And then a consistent removal of all the data that keeps popping back up. Get 20% off Delete Me consumer plans when you go to joindeleteme.com slash action retro and use promo code action retro at checkout. That's joindeleteme.com slash action retro code action retro. Now I could dig out a nice computer case and do a really nice build for this test, but we're just gonna Draga one this thing. Get one of these things, ram. Oh, almost forgot to do cable management. So we'll be installing the latest version of Ubuntu onto one of these long fellows. We'll just have to jump the power switch connector. All right, well, funny enough, no display. Good news. After much digging, I have found a video card that actually still works. Okay, so according to NVIDIA SMI, we have a GeForce GTX 950 with two gigs of VRAM. So on the VRAM FS GitHub page here, we just need to install a few prerequisites. libfuse, OpenCL, and I've already installed our Ubuntu build tools. So we can do git clone the repo and we should just be able to make this. Yeah, there we go. Compile complete. So now we need an empty folder. Make dir vram. We'll open the file manager here to see if we can watch this in action. All right, cd vramfs, cd bin. All right, there's our executable, vramfs. So we'll do vramfs the directory we want to mount our VRAM drive to. So that's home slash VRAM. And then the size, 1G. No OpenCL capable GPU found. How about sudo? Ooh, that did it. And there it is. <laughs> There's a one gigabyte removable media, which is half of our video cards VRAM. New folder, test, 
Folder name is too long. Permission denied. Oh, because we did it as root. All right, let's try K disk mark. And we'll see if we can benchmark. It says it's one gigabyte in size. Can we benchmark it? Oh, it's doing stuff. All right, well, certainly it was benchmarking a RAM disk in video RAM because it was much, much faster than just the SSD. All right, might as well benchmark an actual RAM disk. My goodness, system RAM is quite a bit faster. Let's do something stupid. And jump cut to bad decision making. We're gonna do something you should never do and log in to the GUI as root because I wasn't able to figure out how to assign privileges to the mounted VRAM drive to my normal user because I am far from a Linux expert. But now we should be able to mount our drive and just use it as if it were removable media. Let's have our file browser open here. Let's run our VRAM FS and we'll give it one, 1 1.4. There is our drive. And now we can go into it and do stuff. <laughs> I guess what we're gonna do. Let's open up Steam. We'll go to storage. Let's add a drive. <laughs> we are going to add. No, oh, I think we are running out of VRAM here. And we are skirting right at the top of this two gigs. Let's load something a little smaller. Let's say 1.3. Now it's gonna add drive. We'll choose our VRAM drive. Steam folder. All right. And now let's install a game to the video card. <laughs> All right, Brotato only needs 198 megs. All right, let's install Brotato to the video card. <laughs> oh my God. Look at that. Brotato installed to the video card. We're gonna use the video card to play a game that's installed on the video card. How cursed is that? Oh my goodness, we're using 1.968, 1.985. Ooh, I think we ran out of video memory. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, we keep running out of VRAM. Big surprise. Oh, it's getting up there, 1.688. Oh, we, oh, ran out. <laughs> All right, we need to reevaluate here. Reduce the size of the virtual drive to 900 megabytes. Give us a little more headroom here. You have to start all over again. Let's do a reinstall. Disk right error. All right, let's restart Steam because it is very confused. Oh my God. Okay, Brotato is now running from the VRAM drive. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Uh, okay, full screen off. All right, what happens if we kill the VRAM drive mid-game? <laughs> All right, we're going. As soon as this tries to load something else from disk, it is going to die. And the run. Oh, she's not happy. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Steam still thinks it's installed. Nope. You're not gonna find that now. Well, that was honestly kind of awesome. I mean, I can't imagine a real world scenario where you'd want to actually use the video RAM on your video card as a hard drive, but technically it's possible. Of course, you're better off just making a virtual drive in your system memory because that's much faster and you probably have much more of it these days. But how cursed was it running a game on the video card that was installed to the video card? I love silly stuff like this, and I hope you do too. In any event, that'll do it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more weird stuff like this, please subscribe down below. And thank you very much for watching. And thanks again to Delete Me for sponsoring today's video. And I just want to give a very special thank you to all of my Patreon supporters and channel members. Thank you so much, each and every one of you, for supporting me and supporting this channel and all the weird stuff I do. I am so very grateful and I just could not do this without you.